full reactions are on Patreon, or if you want, you can pull up your copy of Astra Lost in Space Episode 11. Confession, and press play. I press play when the timer reaches zero. I loved the first half of this show, and I'm hating the second half <laughs> for what it's doing to me. Cause I'm a bitch. <laughs> I feel like, unlike the rest of the clones, the king can be like, Eat shit, dudes! <laughs> if anyone tried to call him out for the illegality of that one. At least to any level of normal kingliness would do that. I love the change in hair for her. What's crazy about this show is them all getting trapped far away in space was enough for a plot. I was on. <laughs> okay, so we're still doing the dreamlike thing for your backstory, so maybe that wasn't a hint at you lying overall, but man, you could still be lying. Okay. So all this about you is true. I guess with the princess have hired you. Okay, so the king was under those rules too. Well, look at you being so generous. And it's still being the dream like stay for your backstory. Are you still lying? Oh, there are elements. No, oh, 
I, I'm assuming Sarah was the princess, right? Like, if we, if we, if we, you got, you, you, you pick, cherry picked some truths to tell both of your stories, but you still haven't told the, tol the whole thing. And it was stupid then, too. <laughs> I think he's he, he ain't done lying about his backstory either. <laughs> so that is what happened. I figured it just ran out of juice. Okay. The battery died. Ah! Okay, okay. Man. Should have been looking more for, uh, who wasn't present for the sphere. More than a resemblance, right? <laughs> Not a clone of the king's only daughter? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was... For a second there, I was like, man, I'm really confused now! The dreamlike state dropped. Right? Why were they so lazy with your, <laughs> with your fake name? You could have given her any name! <laughs> Eternal rulers. Ah. Right. Ah. 
I'm not I, I'm not very creative on the naming front, but I will still raise the child. This is why you cared the most out of anyone about <laughs> your daughter going missing. It was you? You. Lazy. No, well, it's a great name, but terrible decision. She's already going to look just like her when she grows up. <laughs> if anyone's ever like, wow, you look just like that princess, Ares. <laughs> Wait a second. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> you know, look at the names and be like, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Should be like if Superman was walking around calling himself Nam Repus. Like somebody's gonna put this together at some point. <laughs> Wait. Brain damage time? And is this the stand-in for the guard you used in your story before? Okay. All right, all right, okay, I get it. Surprised he doesn't just do it anyway, but I guess... Well, say what you will about him, he's certainly not corrupt. <laughs> Completely. <laughs> there we go. Princess just got pushed fucking off a cliff. Great.
Yeah, right? A very ill for, for a group of people whose first plan was let's push her off a cliff. This was quite the jump in planning. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. She's not the princess. Dude, what if that had activated it, dipshit? And like, even if she goes back, she won't be Sarah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you probably not. God damn, that's not just a punch from a friend, that's a punch from a world-class athlete. Ouch. Believe in the power of friendship, man. I cut my hair and everything. It's symbolic. Yoon Hui, a uh, uh, singer. I I I know I haven't said her name out loud much because she's had so little to do in this show. Disappointingly so after her episode where we learned about her. I guess she's my one factor of I kind of wish this character had more to do. Not because I like her so much just because oh, you you've only got so many characters. Gotta go over here. <laughs> She's like, I just met you. I'm not really in a cry mood at the moment, to be honest. <laughs> oh, shit. But. <laughs> oh, God damn. Is he gonna go by himself? What? I don't think that'll work. Yeah. Yeah, but still, I don't think he's gonna hurt you. I think he's... Wait, could you just use it to send you all back if you wanted? Wait, is that an option? Yep. Yeah. Is he going to save you? Is he going to like vault over this thing? Wait, wait. He's going over. Wait, no. Oh, so he can force him to turn it off. 
That's kind of brilliant. I wouldn't risk your own life over this dude like you have all these other people who care, care for you. Like, even if you're right that this works. Come on, man. Aww. Here's me thinking he was gonna vault over this thing. Yeah! yeah! He even said it right! I, okay, I thought his... It looked like his plan was gonna be like, Hey, you won't... Ah, turn it off! Dude. Turn off the machine! Yeah, yeah. Did he just lose an arm because of that? What the fuck? <laughs> I tell you what, though, good enough friends with him. I'd wait like a year, but then I would make fun of him. He's like, <laughs> stay back, magical. <laughs> Are robo arms possible in this world? Or fuck, I mean, cloned arms. Is it, like, is that also illegal? Is organ harvesting for, from clones? Like, what, what, what is our standard for legality? A little more literal now. I was a righty before. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. Dude. Overall, it's a good enough reveal. I do kind of wish it had been someone whose backstory was real, like for that more, for a more satisfying. Ah! It's been, uh, obviously, I wanted to make sense. I wanted to make sense, but. Ares' backstory makes sense overall, I suppose. I'd be I, I would be way more on board with this, but really and truly, everything to do with Earth versus Astra really did completely send a torpedo through the rest of this show's story. What's going on? <laughs> Dude, that was crazy. Next time. <laughs>